Hello, St. Paul resident and student parishioners. I'm happy to announce in this video the third phase of our reopening for public celebration of the Mass and other sacraments. We will begin phase three of reopening St. Paul Catholic Center on Saturday, June 6th. As in our previous phases, we continue to present plans that are subject to adaptation at any time as the circumstances require because our primary and main goal of reopening our churches is to provide access to the sacraments in a safe way that will protect the vulnerable and stop the spread or slow the spread of the virus as best we can, as well as for us to learn best practices. In phase three, which again will begin the weekend of June 6th and 7th, we will resume the public celebration of Sunday Masses. Our Sunday Mass schedule will be our normal uh, break schedule for Masses, 4.30 p.m. on Saturday, and then on Sundays, 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m. in Spanish, and 5.30 p.m. At this time, and until further notice, we will continue to limit our capacity and require everyone to follow our protocols for social distancing in order to create the safest environment possible. In phase three, the protocols we established in phases one and two regarding those things remain in effect, and I direct you to the website to learn what those are. We will also continue to require RSVPs and signups for Mass through Eventbrite. Information and the ability to register for Masses up to, I believe, two weeks to a month in advance for weekday and Sunday Masses are available on the Sign Up to Attend Mass link on the front page of our, our website, HoosierCatholic.org. Please also consult the detailed information on our mass attendance protocols and protocols for the, for the reception of Holy Communion before coming as well. Because of our expanded capacity, the limitation to one mass per person per week is also lifted effective immediately. You are again free to attend Mass more than once per week if you so choose and so long as you register. Those who are 65 years of age or older or anyone in a vulnerable population are encouraged to remain at home. Even with the resumption of the public celebration of Sunday Masses, we are reminded by Archbishop Thompson the dispensation for the obligation to attend Sunday Mass is still in effect until August 15th. If you're concerned or afraid or scared in any way, please either contact me and if you are able to, and I would encourage you to stay home at this time. We are working because we've rece recently received the permission from the Archdiocese to create an opportunity for people who are unable to attend Sunday Mass to receive Holy Communion. We are still working on the details of what this will look like please check the website regularly for what that will look like. Also, we are limiting further, or we're limiting the capacity of our weekday Masses to a greater extent than our Sunday Masses. So for those of you who still desire to come to Mass but might be afraid of the crowds and the size of the crowds at a Sunday Mass, our weekday Masses will have a smaller capacity to create greater social distancing and to give those who are vulnerable or over 65 who really desire and have made a prudent decision to attend Mass the opportunity to do so in the safest manner. So if you are choosing to come to Mass, you could even make your weekday Mass your, so to speak, Sunday obligation. Though again, the obligation for Sunday Mass is not binding, or no one has that obligation until at least August 15th. In order to resume the public celebration of Masses at St. Paul Catholic Center, we are also in pretty significant need for volunteers to serve as ushers at our Masses. At these masses, we will make uh, at these masses. The ushers will do several things. First and foremost, they will make sure that we continue to keep our capacity and, and social distancing and face covering requirements are met. We will also need ushers to help in in mass and ch kind of showing people where to go, especially during Holy Communion. And we also need help after mass, disinfecting the areas of the church that were used by people. If you are able and willing 
and again, able and willing, knowing the risks and making a prudent decision to help with this, please contact me directly at my email, fatherpatrick, frpatrick, at hoosiercatholic.org. I recognize right now reopening St. Paul Catholic Center for the public celebration of Sunday Masses will impact each of you differently. Some of you are scared, and rightfully so. Others of you are not scared and are wondering what the big deal is. Wherever you are in this, I just want you to know that you are known and you are loved. But I also ask you to work together with me and with the staff and with everyone else here at St. Paul's so that we can continue to be good and faithful servants of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but also to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. To recognize that my experience might not be someone else's experience, but that they have a right to their feelings and experience and also a right to a safe environment. And so we are working together as best we can to love and to serve you at this time. But in order to do that, we need everyone contributing. It will certainly be a great joy to be with you again at the public celebration of Sunday Masses. But remember, even our zeal for the Eucharist, which is the source and summit, the center of our Christian life, should not cause you or me or anyone to take unnecessary risks or to put others at risks, other at risk. Please make prudent decisions. Consider all of the options about whether to attend and make a decision based on that. We will continue to keep you updated and informed on any new adaptations or changes as they come up. If you have any questions, please contact the parish office. Though we are, so to speak, closed as a parish office, we do now have someone at the front desk Monday through Friday for most of the day to answer your phone calls and emails. This weekend, we celebrate Pentecost Sunday. As we celebrate the coming and pouring forth of the Holy Spirit on the church and on the apostles, we beseech him to be present in our lives, in our hearts, and in our community so that we may all act with wisdom and treat others with generosity and charity and the respect they deserve as the beloved sons, the beloved daughters of Jesus of God and temples of the Holy Spirit. I ask you to please continue to pray for me, for all of the staff and for all of our other St. Paul parishioners. I want you to know you are all in my daily prayers. Thank you and God bless you.